Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. We come out here to cast down imagination. How do we do that? By putting precept upon precept in this Bible. That's all y'all ever known us to do. Y'all need to follow along with your Bibles. Read. First Peter chapter 4 verse 11. Read. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. You cannot speak according to the oracle of God if you don't believe it. If you don't believe the truth. The oracle of God is the truth. Is these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Anybody not speaking according to these laws, statutes, and commandments, they're not speak, speaking according to the oracles of God. Read. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God given. If any man preaches this Bible, we're doing it with God's ability. We can't come out here and do our own bit. God give us the ability to understand these words and to push it to our people. Tell them repent, change your lives. This is why we oppress. We don't know who we are. If you don't know who you are, you don't know who to follow. Only when you know that you are God's chosen children will the oracle make sense to you. But God did say, his people are rebellious. There are children that will not hear the law. We already expect that. We expect that from you brothers and sisters. But that's not a deterrence for us to keep teaching you the word. One of these days, a verse, a word of God is going to sink into your spirit. You're going to realize that you've been living wrong. That's what the purpose of this is. Read. That God and all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. God and all things may be glorified to Jesus Christ. So I pity the fool who thinks that we are here doing our own thing. We are doing God's work. God's work, that's what we are here to do. To tell our people to repent. Because what? In sin lies death. Lies death. That's what's going to happen. That's the wages of sin, brothers and sisters. But the white man never taught you that. Christianity is a compilation of all white-based churches. We're not preaching hate against anybody, but we never had a Christ that represented us. We always had Caesar Borgia on this picture. He's in every one of us. Yes, he is, but he don't look like that. In the Bible, it says how he looks like. That's being me. But hold on, let me ask you a question. Is Christ every color? Oh, yeah. Christ is every color? Oh, yeah. Is that what it says in the Bible? No. It doesn't say that in the Bible. No, no. So why would you say that? Because if, 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 if somebody robbed you and you called the cops, and the cops came and said, excuse me, man, what color is the man that robbed you? He's every color, officer. That's, that sounds ridiculous, right? But Christ is not every color. 
Christ is living in every one of us. Listen, Christ is living in his people. That's the right. children of Israel. That's who Christ is living in. We were taught a false image of God during the Renaissance. That's fine. That's fine. Don't, that's, I just said that. You did him. Christianity is a compilation of lies because the fathers of those churches were not for our gospel. Understand what I'm saying? The people who created the Jehovah Witness. Who was it? John, John Paran? Uh, Russell? Charles says Russell. Charles says Russell. Told lies. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. And we've been told lies. But the thing is, people have a problem that we're speaking the truth. We're not making anything that we say up. It's in the Bible, the same Bible that you have. You have a Bible? I do. You got it on your phone? I do. Go to Revelations, chapter 14, verse 1. Let's, excuse me, excuse me. Chapter 1, verse 14. Start at verse 1. Uh, start at verse 1. We got time. What's time? We got time. We could go. We could go this over with you. Right. We want to show our people. Revelations. You want to start uh, chapter one. Chapter one. Yes, one and one. One and one. One and one. Yes. Go. Revelations chapter one, verse one. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ was revealed to who? To John. Jesus Christ revealed himself to John. Read. Which God gave unto him. Read. To show unto his servants. To show unto his servants. So this revelation is supposed to be shown to the people that follows Christ, that does God's will. The revelation that John is going to see is dedicated to a group of people. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he sent and signified it right. by his angel unto his servant John. See, read. Oh, what's the next verse says? Verse 2. Who bear record? Who did what? Who bear what is it to bear record? He testified to everything he saw. Okay, so that means John saw something. He wrote down what he saw. You agree with me so far? Yes. Good. Jump to verse 14 now. Verse 14. John is going to bear record of what he saw because Christ revealed himself to John. Read. Verse 14. His hair and his hairs were white like wool. So, is the Bible alive? This said his hair and his hair were white like wool. This is blonde hair, like your hair. But the Bible says his hair was white, woolly like wool. Is that a lie? Are we making that up? You got it on your phone. According to the Bible, no. According to the Bible it's not a lie. So when we speak of these things, people say we hate white people. We don't hate white people. God said he did. Because if God white people been Wait, preaching, said God, said he, God said that. He, what, he hated white people? Yes, ma'am. Where do you see that? Give me Romans 9.13. Huh? Come closer, come closer, come closer. It says that, it says it was after he came from hell. It didn't say what he looked like before he went to hell. That's what it said. That's what it said. When he saw him, because he came from hell, he took the keys. He took the keys from the devil. That's when. No, we're not reading the same thing here. We're not reading the same thing. You're talking about something else. Something different. No, 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 no. Verse 9, 13. Get out! Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob, who is Jacob? You know who Jacob is? You're not sure. I know you're not sure. Because if you knew, you would have known his verse. Read on. Jacob, have I loved. Read. But Esau, have I hated. God said he hate Esau. Who is Esau? Let me ask you a question. Who is Esau? We were not taught that in a Christian church. There's a group of... That's what I'm just trying to get back to doing now. I know. Okay, great. So, let me help you out. Esau is your biblical name. Esau is the so-called white man according to the gospel. Yes, Lord. We were never taught that. We got the Bible dictionary. All right, so you're trying to teach the white white. Yes, I'm trying to teach the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, that they must come back to God's laws. Okay, but all this that makes me sick is why does everything have to be about white, black, or anything? You know what I mean? Listen, I wish I, I wish I could answer that, but guess what? It was like that since the biblical days. Yes, right. My forefather, 
It's God that has to change that. Right now, the only way God is going to change that is when his people wake up. God uses your nation, your race of people, to correct us. This is why you rule. We forsake God, he used you to correct us, to be on top of us. Now, this is something interesting. God don't hurt. God don't harm. Listen. I don't believe it. This fight between your people and mine has been since in the belly. You ever read that in the Bible? And you know, your people, my people, we're all equal, we all be red. We, we would love to believe that, but guess what? Look at this society. Your people has the power to take all these people out of poverty. But it's big business for our people to remain selling drugs, remain breeding their women and not marrying them, Section 8, welfare. It's big business to this society for our people not to follow the laws. It's not about white, black, or anything. It's all about money. But who runs the world? Who governs the world? Is it my people or your people? Who controls the money? Who controls the money? It ain't my people. I gotta control that. Where's your father? Where's your father? Yeah. What's his nationality? This is called the classical biblical baby names. And the name of your forefather is Esau according to the Bible. Okay. We're going to read what that name means, the name Esau, okay? Yeah, I just want to tell you to talk the wrong things. I want to know the right way. All right, we're giving you reference. You got this. Make sure you get it, get it on Amazon. The, God said he loved Jacob and he hates Esau. So we want to identify who Esau is. We're not ten, out here telling anybody to hate no one. We're teaching them the truth. And you know what they say about the truth? The truth what? No, and what else? Start with an H. The truth what? The truth hurts. Oh yeah. The truth hurts. According to our gospel, the truth is going to set us free. We're the ones in captivity. You understand? We're the ones that don't have... Our people has no say in all the laws of this government. No say. We are at the bottom of the pot, so we need to save it. Let's find out what the name Esau means. Straight to the point. Esau, according to the commentaries on the Hebrew scripture, and which what we read in the gospel of Hebrew scriptures, read, Esau is considered a significant character in world history read, and the forefather of the Roman Empire. Of who? And forefather of the Roman Empire. The forefather of the Roman Empire name is Esau. That's right. We are not taught that in the school, in history. We didn't. We were not taught in the schools that Esau is a father of the Roman Empire. They didn't teach us that. Why not? Why not? We're taught about slavery. Um, Why didn't it teach us in history class who Esau is? If they did so, we would not be confused when we read the Bible of who Esau is. But if God says he hates Esau, there must be a reason. You think God hates Esau for no reason? That is not true. Give me over die. We're going to read out of the Hebrew scriptures who identify who Esau is. It's not a hate campaign. This is why other people choose to serve other gods. They don't want to serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Because the truth that comes out of them, they don't want to hear it. I want to know the truth. All right. I'm tired of being lied to. All right, here's the truth. Read on. The book of Obadiah, verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Because Edom is the race of people who Esau fathered. Esau is the father of the Edomites. That's the race of the Roman Empire. Read. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. Read. An ambassador is sent among the heathen. Uh -huh. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Read. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Uh -huh. Thou art greatly despised. Read. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Read. Thou 
that dwell is in the cliffs of the rock. Stop. The Edomite race is very prideful. They're very prideful. That's what the Bible is saying. The pride of the Roman Empire has deceived them. Them that what? The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. Thou hast dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. Let me ask you a question. When you were in school, you were taught about evolution. What's the story on evolution? How did it all begin? Homo sapiens, we were apes. Then we started uh, mongoloids, right? Then we started to walk upright, and then we dwelled in caves. There were cavemen. Yeah. That's what I was taught in school. Yeah, right. True or false? Neanderthals, right? That's what I was taught. But Christ said, it wasn't the whole world that was like that. It was a group of people. Them that dwell in the cleft of the rocks is going to identify the breed. Whose habitation is high. Uh-huh. That saith in his heart. Uh-huh. Who shall bring me down to the ground? Read. Though, though thou exalted thyself as the eagle. Though thou what? Though thou exalted thyself as the eagle. Let me get down the sun. Because you said you wanted to know the truth. Yes, All right, bring your phone over here. You just had it. For real. For my 16th no, With the coin? I'm tired of being lied to. Right here. Read, read, read. Hold on, one second. Don't that it, thou that exalt thyself as an eagle. All right, in history, the Greeks always had the eagle to represent the nation. The Romans always had the eagle to represent the nation. The Spaniards always had the eagle to represent their nation. And today, America uses the same symbol to represent their nations. Read that again. Read it Verse 4. Though thou exalted thyself as the eagle. Thou that exalted thyself as the eagle. America today is that eagle. Yes, and God is prophesied to Obadiah about this nation. Read. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. Though thou set thy nest among the stars. Let me ask you a question. What does that mean to set your nest among the stars? I'm going to help you out. Space travel. When Apollo 11, I think it was, when it landed on the moon and the American flag went on the moon, what was the famous saying? The who has landed? No, no, no. Think about it. This is when America landed on the moon. They planted their flag and they said the, the something has landed. What did they say? Let me have, let me get some help. Brother man, brother man, brother man with the red hat. Brother, I need your help. Come on, don't do that to me. When America went on the moon and they planted their flag, what was the famous saying that they had? You all know? They said the eagle has landed. Is that a lie? You said you've been lied to, right? That's not a lie. The Bible is documenting it, and history documents it. Lord. America described itself as the eagle. So how do I find the truth, and who do I follow? Who you follow is your God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.